This whole thing came about because it was a vision of President Guy. I remember when he asked us, well, what about doing a project from New Hope Christian College, a blend of all the students together and all the different writings. I had a conversation with Dave Henley at the Foursquare Convention, and he said, hey, have you thought about, um, I've been always wanting to do, Dave said, I've been always wanting to do a college worship project. And I said, Dave, part of our dream as a college is to create platforms in which uh, our creative arts students would have an artistic venue and, a, and an album would be a great way in which that could be done. President Guy and Dave Hanley and others got together to say, let's see if we can really make this a reality and do it under the covering of both New Hope and Dream Records. So as a college, we're really excited to be on Dream Records, uh, which is a subset of Capitol Records. Dream Records has recorded all kinds of prominent uh, musicians, and that being a subset of Capitol Records, which is uh, the recording label for the Beach Boys, the Beatles, Neil Diamond. Um, it's, it's extremely exciting. When I found out that my songs were gonna be on the album, it was totally awesome. You know, I, I have dreamed of doing this my whole life and recording and, uh, and being in the studio and, and uh, Dream and, and Dave Hanley really um, brought that to life for, for a lot of us at the college. Finding out that I was going to be able to play drums, um, the drums that you'd actually hear on an album is pretty cool. Um, I've always, since I was little, had, had dreams of you know, being on iTunes or um, being on a record and, you know, seeing it produced and distributed is something I'm really looking forward to. The process of recording music in today's world is so much easier than it used to be. And uh, me and Sean Cook flew up here from L.A. with just our carry-on, used a few of the equipment from around here at the church and the campus and did the makeshift studio right in one of the rooms here. We were able to put together a mobile studio and record everything in a small 15 by 15 room. The technology that they use is really amazing and basically I went in uh, to record some piano parts uh, for a couple songs and we just took it by sections and worked our way through and uh, it was a lot easier than I expected, a lot less intimidating than I expected and really just a lot of fun. I think we have 40 releases this year and then, so this one's different than any of those because New Hope College is not a touring artist, they're not a big worship team from a church but they're a blend of students and writers and musicians and worshipers from all around the country. I don't know if there are many worship albums out there that have a cohesive and unified aesthetic and message, but also are from such a wide variety of writers. The variety and the uh, level of uh, contribution from individuals across the whole campus of New Hope Christian College uh, really has made this album something very special. There's so many great things that stand out in my mind about New Hope Christian College, but I think one of the things that is so clear, so evident, and it's from the very top and all the way through the staff and the students, and that is just a true heart for worship. I know that behind this project, it was a project, a vision of President Guy's, to see from the college a worship project from many different styles and genres all blended together, different writers put together, but every single one of those writers and everyone we've worked with from Winston and Elliot and just everyone on through, they have such a heart for worship, just a heart after God. What excites me most, most about this album is that the songs came from our community, that we could have as many of our students participate in it. And so everyone had a, a, a part to contribute towards this. But God was able to have someone write a song and someone else sing and somebody play some guitar. And before you know it, you have like 25 students participating participating in a project. That's great. It was a concert of people, all orchestrated by God, and, and at the end of it, you, you see this masterpiece that comes out.